we write uh, concerning today's match, Portugal versus Czech Republic. Yeah. How do you feel about the match? I think um, it is um, worth uh, an Euro match. It is a very uh, interesting match, and I was worried by um, Czech Republic. I didn't know they could at least uh, score a goal against uh, Portugal. But I think it is entertaining. Yeah, entertaining. But me, I feel I don't feel well mm. about Czech Republic because they didn't play as much as I think mm. they will. I, I thought they would give uh, in, uh, Portugal a very big problem. Not really go going to pack balls and Portugal will play out their hands mm. and maybe they will do one or two mistakes. They will take the ball back to Portugal and Portugal will still collect the ball again. Yeah. If you look at the position of this ball today, it was around 65 to 25 or 35 or no. so. Honestly. No, 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 no. I think um, one of the reasons why um, we are rating Portugal is because of um, they have, uh, obviously they have better players. And I expected more from Portugal today. I expect, I did expect, expect more from Portugal because they have Ronaldo, they have Bruno Fernandes, they have Cancelo, they have uh, Mendes, they have so many top notch players, Pepe, and uh, other uh, Bernardo Silva is there too. So I was expecting a prime Barcelona ball from them today. But obviously, um, they, they didn't play so much of good football. And that is why I'm giving the praise to uh, Czech Republic for at least coming into the game. They were not so good, so good. I wasn't expecting anything from them. They were not so good. But second half, after the changes, you can see that they are really um, trying to maintain their position and looking for something to do. They were not really uh, so technical and so clinical, but they were maintaining their position and that helped them a lot. And that uh, made uh, Portugal had not a very good game today. Yeah, I, I feel, yeah, sure. I feel it's a bit tough for Portugal to, you know, unlock their defense and yeah. score. If not for the mistakes, I think it would have ended 1-1. One, one, exactly. Even 1-0 one, because exactly. the first goal was a mistake it's and the second goal. one too. So I didn't see them, you know, creating that chances and scoring it themselves. Mm. It's, they depended, their win today is dependent on uh, the, the mistakes yeah. of the uh, Czech Republic player. Yeah. But on Portugal's side, mm. do you think... With the leg they used to, uh, you know how they play today yeah. do you think mm. they will do well in the coming games because uh, in obviously mm. facing czech republic and they didn't play well yeah. or they didn't give me what i expected of them mm. do you think they going forward or moving forward they will be able to beat strong teams like germany france and uh italy i think um this match is just a fair result for them they should use this match as a what's it called as a, a pre for a best do you understand i feel this match should just be a watch for we to know our errors and a watch for we to know where and where we can develop in portugal so i think it is just a test run this match is just a test run they should know that we have quality players that can play different positions the right wing the left wing forward was not really working today it was a um, what is this um psg's guy uh Mendes. no this made me feel that in psg vt and i was trying to create something but you could see that he's been, uh, you know, he's not been so so clinical. There are sometimes he would just hold ball and he wouldn't even know who to give. So the right wing and the left wing was just empty today. Uh, ja, um, Rafael Leao was was just playing a um, last season uh, Rashford. The same thing Rashford plays. That the same thing he's playing. This is in, in in today's match. So I feel they need to know their errors in this match. This match is just a, like a test run for them to know where and where uh, to improve. And kudos to. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo today. Honestly, Ronaldo really wowed me. I was thinking this guy is just. Uh, I was expecting, uh, uh, you know, when uh, France played this, they were expecting our uh, country. When we saw Kante on the lineup, we were expecting to uh, what is Kante looking for in France lineup. So I was expecting that kind of expectation came for Ronaldo today. But at least you could see that after the first goal, he was angry. He was very angry, and he needs a comeback. He needs to win the match. That is his kind of uh, uh, spirit leaders should have and that is the kind of spirit a ghost like him is having so i really uh see him doing something so i think portugal would do well next game for me mm. coming to rafael leo mm. uh, man i think rafael leo should have been benched yeah don't get me wrong if you check mm. the take-ons and everything this this guy yeah he, he's good at taking players on board mm. he's not good at you know pinpointing passes he's not good at giving his opponent or giving his uh, teammates yeah. some passes that will you know create some goals and everything mm. but he's good with the run exactly. so i feel that um 
uh, this guy from Wolves, uh, Pedro Neto, Neto, could have performed exactly. more better and more clinical there. Exactly. He could have, you know, get, gotten more of that wing mm. out than La Rafael Liu. But who am I? I'm just here talking. It is, it is a test <laughs> So I don't know, but moving forward, I feel. Mm. I feel Portugal needs to improve yeah. on their game, improve on whichever angle they feel they are lagging behind today, mm. which is their creativity up there, exactly. you know, final passes that, to the goal. It's, it's, it's not working at all today. Mm. It's not working. So they should improve from there and let's see where they, 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 they will go from here. Mm. So what else do you have to say about uh, the substitutes coming on to, you know, score, score a goal, Francisco? Yeah, I am, um, the goal was a very fantastic goal and kudos to Neto. I think Neto is underrated. In yeah. Portugal, in Wolves, in Premier League, in the world, globally, he is underrated. So I feel he deserves more. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next see one. You on the next